but this indicator, if the pH changes, will change color. So if I can prove I'm giving out carbon dioxide, which is gonna make this more acidic, then I know I am benefiting my body. I'm getting rid of waste. This is the show me love. So if your patient says, why should I exercise? I'm so tired and my lungs hurt and my this hurts and my that, and you go, what if I told you if you did one extra walk around your neighborhood every day, you would dramatically increase the way that you digested food? <laughs> well, so take your straw, don't inhale. <laughs> it's, I'm sure it's not tasty, but you're just gonna lightly blow in it. That's me at rest. We're ready at green. Mm. The more carbon dioxide I exhale, and the more that I put something acidic <laughs> in here. <laughs> blah. Thank you, mask. The more this is gonna turn a greenish, almost uh, like that green, like the cover there. But you're showing yourself how much this happened. So the person who's taking time is going to know as soon as you start recording, time will be time zero person's gonna blow into here as soon as it turns color stop that's your recorded time hopefully <laughs> not for me but hopefully for you as you exercise more and run around here you're going to have more and more carbon dioxide come out and you're going to have a shorter and shorter recovery time but just think about this before we do that because what you just did was showing yourself and you all looked at the averages what kind of factors are really gonna affect my lung capacity? So things like COPD, asthma, pneumonia. If you have anything going on with your lungs, you could sit there and breathe heavily all day. You're still not oxygenating effectively. So I want you thinking, because this is one of the questions on here, what could we tell our patients to do to keep healthy lungs? We've already talked about practicing. They should be using that incentive spirometer weather. Incentive spirometer, right. So that's something really, really easy that we can give them to go five minutes a day. Do it twice a day, five minutes a day. Note your lung capacity difference in a week. So it's the little things to remember. Because if you make them easy and you make them habitual, your patients are going to go, yeah, I can do that. Absolutely. And if I can see a result right away, I'm totally going to do that. If I don't see results, I don't know. So are we almost...